our brother well the member of dos mazi china sanwuru because i want us to do it as an interactive section so that we talk about issues also mazi are you there Yes, yes, welcome, yes. Uh, Good welcome evening. to the program. Please uh, go on first of all, introduce yourself before I continue because I want we have to make it interactive. Oh, okay, okay, Mr. Jonas. Good evening, um, dear friends around the world. Um, uh, good morning, good evening, and happy new year from the state of Kuwait. My name is Mazichina Samoro. Mazichina Samoro is from Obiungwa. Obiunga is an Aba province, and uh, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra as the Middle East tribe, and also I'm a member of the Directorate of States. Thank you, thank you, Mazi, and Happy New Year. Same, same to you, my brother. Um, Mazi, you know, I'm talking about today the very potent weapon of division. And in this case, I want you to come in here, please. Why is our people... Because, you know, this uh, division has been used by the Europeans, and that is why, against Africa, and that is why Africans, we are suffering. Okay, the Fulanese today, they are using it against our people, Satanas in general, and Biafrans in particular, to turn every, each person one against the other. Oh, I'm, I'm from um, a car, I'm not Igbo. Oh, I'm from Ikura, I'm not Igbo. I'm south to south, I'm not Igbo. I'm south to east, I'm this and that, I'm not... Why Why do we accept this first, please? Why are we accepting this? Um, um, thank you, Mazi Jonas. Um, the question you just asked is very pertinent because of the way our people are being structured. The way of... Uh, you know, they say that our people are egalitarian people, it, it, egalitarian society. Anybody comes up anywhere in his or her family, everything goes. But for every society to, to develop or for every society to move forward, there must be um, an institution that will be able to guide those people. Because this kind of institution are lacking in Biafra land. That is why you see the fool and he found it very easy. They learned it from the slave masters. That is where they learned it. And they have, using it against our people is a perfect um, ground for their division. These are roles, these are things people have done in many places, divided many people. If you come in, you saw what happened in Rwanda. The and the uh, Hutu, you come to if you come to Sudan today, you will see they say this is the Nubians, this is the Genubi, this is the Shagalaban. This is they have they have come, it's a very long tactics people use to divide people. And the purpose of this division is to conquer you, the purpose is to. Uh, to take control of your destiny. The, the moment somebody controls you, you are now in his own hand and uh, you become a tool. He can do with you whatever he wants to do. That is the reason But our people also are not really sophisticated. I can tell you that. Forget about, you see our people, our people are, no matter people can make money, making money does not make you a very sophisticated society. If you come to every society, there must be an element of a deep secret in that society. But if you come to Biafra land today, people have been bastardized. The leadership are rogues, criminals, people groomed, you know, by the Fulanese. So what do you expect they will do? They will come to... Is that, for example, for me, I, if you go to London and study and come back, I see you as just a continuation of the colonialism. Because the British, when they left, they needed people who will, con who will continue to execute their plans. That is why they will tell you, you come to London, you study to the best universities, ask yourself. They say, this is Great Britain. Is there anything great about Britain? People that are living in London, is there anything really great? There is nothing. So this is a tool that has been used and it has worked in many places against people, and see today our people are still, you know, not learning from what have happened to others. 
you see the churches. It is not only Fulanese that are dividing us. Also, they are coming through the churches. They have too many ways they use. Because, number one, also, our people are greedy people. Our people are envious people. Our people are full of jealousy among themselves. And it goes down till the villages. In the business premises, you find people being jealous for nothing. I know jealousy is something of a human being. But you can see that in the life of our people. And in anywhere where people exhibit this kind of behaviors, automatically there will be, there will be a lot of division among them. And that, that, that is what I think, Mazze. Thank okay. you. Um, there's something you said now about being envious and jealous. Yes. This is uh, something that is, uh, you know, uh, is human nature. Every human being is... Yes. To an extent, jealous and to an extent. Greed. That is greed. true. Yeah. Now, yes. but the issue yes. is this. You know, even whites some whites also, Europeans they are also greedy and jealous. But the yes. issue is this, yes. you know, because of the enlightenment they embraced. They are just like what yes. you said before, he brought out a system, they fashioned a system that have to cop that excesses in them Me, that is it you that understand? is it that but is in it. our own that is it. you know yes. we have a nigeria that even uh, they want to increase that jealousy and greed you see after the war among us yes among yes. us because they they have to they will use it it is to their advantage so they increase the they increase that greed that jealousy in you the the system you know yes. uh, permits it and increases it so that you know it become for now it become unbearable even but that is what system unbearable. laws that and other it. have to take care of but you know in that Nigeria, there's nothing it. like law yes order. yes so yeah okay in going on like uh, this division we are talking okay look at what uh Wike is doing even till that uh first of all in order to just for him to be uh, uh vice president so, candidate uh, vice president yes. vice President, yes, vice president. Yes, yes. yes. Now, he first of all denied his own and his own people, ordering yes. his own people to be killed and slaughtered, even carried ferried to the north. What have you what what do you have to say about it? Uh, Jonas, thank you for this. Is a very important uh, topic that every Biafran who is listening this night supposed to sit down and listen very carefully what um uh, yes on wiki what the division you know that because i know if yes on wiki is trying to be the vice president chibika mechi is trying to be the president i you understand it. you can imagine what is about to happen there so every one of them is trying to outsmart or to outdo each other who will impress the slave master more than the other now the atrocity yes on wiki committed in obibo people thought this thing happened only in obibo but it have a ripples effect down to Abia state down to imo state what wiki did in obibo um, a group of people visited the obibo um, a couple of uh, weeks back i don't know if our people know people are just everywhere talking there are no use any longer in obibo there are no young able-bodied men in Obibo. From a reliable information we got, yes, on Wiki promised the full of people that he will clear every Igbo man in Obibo and hand over Obibo to the full of people. And exactly that is what Wiki is doing. I, our people do not know that thousands of people, thousands of Biafran youth, are missing because of yes wiki and it was not only yes on wiki that planned this the Igbo governors everybody know when the Igbo governors visited yes on wiki the nigerian military that is why when they went to uh, meet yes on wiki it was to agree on certain things 
That's why till today, no Southeast governor have condemned it. Instead, they, they, they tapped Winke on the back, tapped him on the shoulder. Mazi Jonas, I will tell you what the record we have and the one we have been following, the indigenous people of Biafra has been following through the heads of um, the lawyers and some uh, organizational bodies. We realize that most people that we have ferried out of Iwacha, but most of them, um, they move them from Obinze. Now, some people we are traveling from Obinze is in Imo State, eh? program. For people. Yes, yes, Obinze is in Imo State. I, I know what I'm saying because what they did was the people they arrested because we did not really trust people in Iwacha in River State. So he failed to allow them to be in River State. The people he lifted from Bori camp, they moved them to Obinze. That is why I told you the governors, um, Hope Uzodema, is aware of these things. They all knew. Maze, there is no way a Nigerian military helicopter called Haklus, Haklus is one of the biggest military helicopters, was brought into Imo State, lifted many people from Imo State to the northern part of Nigeria. As I am telling you now, we have discovered a group of people, they ferried to Zamfara State. They ferried our people to Zamfara State. They ferried some people to the Kaduna. They ferried people to Kanu, which we are trying to track everywhere. We, we found out 55, 55 was moved to Niger State. 52 were released. We tried our best. IPOB did their very best under the leadership of Mazin Namde Kanu. 52 were secured, their bail condition was met, and three people died along the process in Niger State. Presently in Abuja, there are 157. 29 has been granted bail. It's remaining 128 in Abuja. And uh, somebody was denied bail because he said in the court that he's a Jewish worshipper, that his, his religion is Jewish. The, the lawyer refused to grant him bail. This is the things our people are passing through in the hands. And this is all Yes on Wike planned all these things. Now, Yes on Wike, they agreed that, oh, these evil youths, lift them to the north. Let them go there and kill them. This was all the plan. You cannot tell me that the South East governors went to meet Yes on Wike. None of them stopped. They all passed all people to go to see Yes on Wike in the government house. They never care. They never ask. They never say, yes, on Wike, let us go to that particular place, that the same old people. Let us see what happened. Let them have a talk and know what people say, whether it's true. But they all passed there, went to government house. You, everybody saw the video where, where Nairobi was singing, yes, on Wike, Kai Geso, Mone Jej. Everybody saw that shameful behavior. But we are our people, those saboteurs, those stupid people coming online talking, are they not aware? Are they not seeing all these things? I can tell you, Mazi Jonas, there were a group of transporters. There, there was a transporter. He, is, he had a bus transport from Abad to Iwacha. He used to drive his transport route is area area to Iwacha. He was traveling with passengers after three or four days after the answers issue in Obibo, in, 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 in Ubocha, River State. He was traveling on reaching on 144 as a battalion military checkpoint. They stopped them there. They took away 35 of them, detained them in as a military base. Later, they moved some of them to Bori Camp. Some of them paid money to those who their family was able to pay, some pay 300000 some pay 400000 some pay 500000 Not all of them could be able to bail themselves. Now, they move many of them from Asa. That is, just, that is just a particular boss. I'm giving you one incident. And according to some of them, they saw other people also that was already in that camp. Now, they moved them from there to Ori camp. The brother... One of these guys, he went to Asa High School. He saw them. He went to Bori Camp. He saw them. And from Bori Camp, they lifted the 
many of them brought some of them to Obinze. This is where they separated many of them. Then they started transporting some of them to the north by road, and they, they transported many by air. They used the Hercules airline military distance. They lifted them from Imo State down to down to the northern part of Nigeria. Now these are young people. These are youth. These are their friends. Even most of them are not even IPOB members. They are just evil youth. They are just evil youth. But yes, on Wiki and the South, this is the conspiracy because they feel they, our youth are those who are agitating for their rights. They are feeling that these are the people who are fighting against the injustice. This is the level of atrocity. And I am calling every Biafran. If you are, don't say I am IPOB, I am not IPOB, I am a supporter of Biafra, it may be you, it may be your family. And we urge every one of our people, if you are in Imo State, if you are in other state, you are in Igbocha, Bayasa, Akwaibo, if you are looking for any of your son, any of your brother, any of your uncle, anybody related to your family, don't say he was in Aba. And if you have not found him, bear in mind that the Mwike and the Nigerian military have flew them to the northern part of the country for execution. We cannot say categorically why they flew them to the north rather than to kill them. And the, why they are in the northern part, they have no connection. Most of them have never been to the north. Most of them have never don't have anybody in the north. This is the evil committed by Yesu Mwike. We are talking about thousands of people. We are talking about dead people that they cannot because many of the people, some of them say some, pe some people died and they don't know what happened to their bodies. The people that they were transporting out of torture, three people died to Niger State. Three people. They don't know where their bodies are. This is the handwork of Yeso Mwike and Southeast governors. This is a conspiracy to massacre our people. This is what we are calling every Igbo Biafra. Every Biafran, wherever you are, we must all rise up and ask Yeso Mwike and Southeast governors where our brothers are, where our children, where our uncles, whom he ferried out from the southeast part of Nigeria, you know, ferried out from Obize. Many were carried from Aba Battalion, um, 144 as a battalion. Many were carried from Bukori camps, and nobody has seen them for two months now. And the many of our people who are working, they say they are working, they were there. Yes, on Wike and the governors were taking our people away from their land. Who can be so heartless like this man? And before he wants to tell you that Ikwere uh, uh, is not evil, that is one of the most stupid words I have ever heard from somebody who called himself a lawyer. We all saw on social media, Ikwere did one of the, they say it's Isaac Bob Bicycle Festival. Everybody saw their attire. Everybody saw what they were wearing. Everybody saw that festival. Does that festival look like Bini Festival? Does it look like Bini Festival? Yes, Omwike is talking rubbish. But one thing I will tell you, Mazi, yes, Omwike should be prepared. He should be prepared for what lies ahead. Because this generation of Biafra, if anybody will forgive Yeso Mwike, IPOB will never forgive Yeso Mwike. And the, all the governors who join hand to kill our people, we are talking about those who are alive. And the, in due time, Yeso Mwike, they will provide everywhere, they, all the people they have killed, they will show us their better ground. And everybody, and the, in, in a due course, in Jonathan, we will provide a telephone on air here, people who are, their brothers are missing. Those going to Yugocha, coming from Imo State to Obibo, coming from uh, Aba to Obibo, coming from Yugocha, you are coming out of Yugocha, you are missing. Your peop our people should report these cases. It will help us to be able to find, because we have many names now, we still don't know who their brothers are. So it is better they call and report about their missing brothers. When you, your brother is missing for two months, for Christ's sake, you have to speak up. They cannot do anything. There is nothing they can do you. That is all I can say on that topic, Mazze. Mazze, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. Um, you know, there is something uh, like uh, about this reporting. 
you know there is something one character i also see in our people you know you know you you you, you know you see some people they have their missing brother they will just uh when they look they they pray they will say ah oh, we pray over it too they go meet their pastor that the geo that the, the, the geo we prophesy and say just keep quiet and and uh, look upon god that god will do they will do it one month two months and they will forget as, as if nothing happened as if no human being you know our people know some of them know how to hide things and be dying secretly that is why we are enjoining we are urging people in order to call to report any missing person because these people must be held accountable i'm telling you honestly now yeah, 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 yes yes I, I i want to step in here you talk about there is something our people don't know that the church is an instrument that can make somebody to those time the church the pastors are agents of the western do you understand it, me colonial master some of them know some of them don't know some of them have stepped into it because they want to make money they started to become a tool because for example somebody come and tell you my brother died or i am looking for my brother or my brother the military have killed them like these three people that have died along the way the families will not come out and support and said i want justice for my brother he said he will run to a pastor a pastor will tell him pray god will touch your soul first before god touch your soul let us fight for justice for this young person who died for no reason maybe he was coming if you listen to some of them some of them said i was sitting somewhere we were drinking pepsi with my friends they come there they pick them up one said he came out from their house to buy something from the store they pick him up the next thing he found himself in niger state now you go to the pastor the pastor pray for you don't worry god will heal your heart god will find mercy for you then your brother that is, dead. is wicked left you with That's left you wickedness. wickedness left a wife with three children with four children tomorrow you start attacking the wife you say this and but you never fight for the justice for your dead brother how will your brother even be happy even in death that he died you never ask he died you never do anything tomorrow you say your brother come and visit you in the dream he told you he's crying you never get justice for him this is a very big problem we have in our place that things will happen no pastor will rise up to talk about this thing i see useless people coming on facebook talking about ipob they don't know what ipob are engaging into they don't know the work of IPOD. If you grab one information from somewhere, you come, you think you know IPOD. You come on Facebook, you read about things happening on Facebook, you think you know IPOD. You know nothing about IPOD. You don't know the work of IPOD. You don't know the achievements of IPOD. You don't know what IPOD are engaged into. You don't know the life they are saving. Pastors cannot be able to stand and speak for their own people. They cannot. <laughs> Thank you, Marzi. Thank you very much, my brother. Um, we must continue. You know, this uh, uh, character of division and accepting division, that is, that is one thing that baffles me, honestly. Somebody will just, out of uh, nowhere, start doubting his identity. That I, I, you know, I'm not Igbo. Uh, no, I'm not. And he's speaking Igbo with you. You know, Mazi, you know it's annoying. It's not that you want to force the person, but it's annoying, honestly. Of course, of course, you know, it's something very deep. It's very, very deep. When you, when you know, you start, you know, doubting your identity, you can add something as a primary. Uh, why ma, the full? Ma, ma, why the full? Ma, 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 Jonas, let me tell you. Yeah. Sometimes I tell you that our people are ungrateful people, especially people from that part of the world, that contraption called Nigeria. You know those people that come outside, they tell you, I'm not able, they segregate themselves. I tell you, go anywhere in the world. Anywhere they come out, we are the people who survive them. We are the people who give them life. Whether he's a job, whether he's, whether, whether he is quite good, whether he's a bibio ethic, when they come in diaspora, we give many of them life. We give them, show them way of life. We support them in anything they do. But, but sometimes, one evil a day, just say that. It's not surprising, man. One, you know, 
That is what I don't understand in our people. With the churches they go, the churches continue to put division. And what the churches are building a very big... They, that is why you see the politicians running to the church. They need to make partnership with the pastors, with the bishops, because these are the people who are helping them to put more division. <coughs> Mercy Jonas, for example, if you grow up with your younger brother, you slept in the same bed, you eat in the same plate, you eat everything, you play together, you grew up together, you drank this from the same cup. It is a natural bond. But do you know what separates you with your brother? Do you know what is separate you with your brother? Religion. Is the Nigerian church. Religion. The Nigerian church. This is the first tool. Your younger brother or your senior brother, you have done everything. We came in different parts. We turn. A pastor will tell him that you want to kill him. Your younger brother. This is where the division comes in. The, the church, we, we are not saying it a missing word. I am not saying that categorically every pastor or everybody is wrong. But what we are saying is this. It is dominant. And the, many of the pastors won't condemn it because they want you to say, judge no anointing. They come with fear. I saw one pastor who preached in his New Year this, and he said, anybody castigating the... the why you will have pain in your family. This is rubbish. Our people not having pains in their houses. You will, have, you will always have cry in your house. That is rubbish. For how many years, many of them, have we been able to have anything? It's only division. This division, Ojo Zokalu played also a very important role when he was at the state governor. He brought division. I am telling you, in my own family, a family of the same, the same grandfather, he came inside the family and divided. These people become another village. These people become another village. In the same family, that is their role. Because they know when they divide you into pieces, there is no institution. They refuse to build an institution that will protect the people. They refuse to build an institution that will, you know, look for the future for the people. No, they want to divide you so they can continue to rule. But we said, with the arrival, of indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership of Mazin Nandekano, they have come to their bus stop. We are going to fight this fight until everybody comes on the table. Those who die will die. Those who will be alive will be alive. But one thing we must guarantee them is that after this battle, our lives will never remain the same again. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you, Mazi. I don't know whether because I'm going to open my lines. Um, no, no, yeah, no, Maze, I, I, I thank you for this interview. Okay. I will stand by to listen so you can open your lines. Other people can also have their free contribution on what is happening. But what we are asking is that if you know your brother is missing since October, see anywhere, anywhere in Biafran, and maybe he traveled from Lagos, he was coming to, 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 to Ugocha, maybe he traveled from anywhere. If you know any missing person, do not hesitate to call Radio Biafra. Drop your telephone number. Drop your name. We are going to provide a hotline where people will send in this information. If other people are not taking this case serious, IPO Biafrazin Namdekano, we will see the end of this story. Thank you, Mazi. Thank Once you. again, Biafrans, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you very thank much you so for your much. contributions. Thank you. Thank you. And you're one of us, honestly. We must continue. You know, um, what they are doing now, they have brought, uh, they are imposing Saduano for Turku. <laughs> and they have already made the Emi of Asaba. <laughs> but they are dividing you. You are not able. Now you are, they are, you know, they, they make sure that they, they, you know, they impose on you and you become slaves because they divide you. They want, they divide you into pieces and take you piece by piece.